Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamcro here, aka Scoop, back with the Meverse Sun and Moon or uh, horse Meverse Sun and Moon OU tournament. Uh, we're in the finals here, taking on Silver for Ubers, um, also known as Silver on Meverse and Reddit, or maybe Silver for Ubers on uh, Reddit as well. I think so. Um, but anyways, I bring uh, this is the finals, the best of three here. Um, he ripped through his side and I ripped through my side. Actually, I had a pretty, uh, round two was pretty lucky for me. Um, in my opinion, I think it was very lucky. And my opponent misplayed towards the end game of the first match. So, uh, here we are though in the finals against Silver. And he brings a bulky ass team, oh my goodness. Um, I, I knew it was going to be really hard game one here, so let's just go ahead and hop into it and see how it goes. Um, I'm actually going to put this on fast. So he leads Tank Growth, I lead uh, Tapu Fini, and uh, I'm going to click Taunt, uh, just so that if he wanted to switch into something, like... Um, I, I guess it sounds ridiculous, but if he if he switched into something like Heatran or Landers, he couldn't get his rocks up, and if he switched into Scizor, he couldn't get a, a Source Sense up. But he reveals to be a Defog variant. Um, you're just gonna see that this game is a lot of uh, pivoting, offensive pivots with U-turn and Volt Switch, uh, not really being able to do any damage. Uh, he does stay in there against my Landers, and I could have been Z Fly. So I really disagree with that play, but it worked out for him as I wasn't Z fly. He goes for the hidden power ice. And I just bring in my Metagross here and he's got the scissor, which uh, you know, it's Metagross hits unless I get the attack boost or something. But uh, he goes into Greninja, U turns out, goes into Heat Ran, I have to switch out. And then it's just gonna be this over and over. Um, I'm not gonna be able to break his core and then he slowly chips at my core. So, there's just going to be a lot of this going on, a lot of switches, a lot of nothing exciting really. Um, as you can see, um, I do get a taunt off here, but he does go for the U-turn instead of the roost, so it doesn't really matter. It's, it's looking damp for me. What I would really need to do is get rocks up, but... It seems Tang Growth, Landorus, and Greninja all prevent me from getting rocks up, and then Scizor immediately defogs them, so Landorus can't even keep them up. Um, and then what I would need is for Greninja to be gone, or um, something to be extremely weakened, and then I'd be able to set up a Swords Dance with my Garchomp, and then he goes to sack something as I set up. Um, the Z Sandstorm so that I could outspeed everything. Then I would have a shot at breaking the score and potentially winning the game. He's gonna be able to roost off my damage here. Um, I forgot I was intimidated or I wouldn't have went for the earthquake. I just wanted to gauge the damage, but it did 21, so that's crazy. Uh, then I was like, oh shit, I'm intimidated. But yeah, basically it's just gonna be a lot of this the entire match until uh, one of us just realizes that the other one's core is too much. Uh, I do get the attack boost here and go for the earthquake on the following turn. I should have probably went for another mash, but as you can see here, uh, we miss mashes. <laughs> uh, that happens. Nothing you can really, like, like I said, I got lucky in round two, so I'm not really gonna complain about hacks here in round three. Yeah. This, yeah, brings in the landers. This goes for the hidden power fire. Now, this is a squad I built myself. It's uh, most certainly not the the most well built team. Uh, it's really fun though. Um, got the hidden power fire on Magirna and Tapu Coco, as well as having I think Taunt on Coco and Feeny. Uh, it's a team I built, and I really struggled with uh, Ferrothorn, breaking Ferrothorn, and it's setting up a lot of hazards. 
So uh, I put Taunt on two months and Hidden Power Fire on two months for uh, the uh, Ferrothorn. Makes a good play there. Goes for the Earthquake, predicting my Metagross to come in. Yeah, I went, went for the Thunderbolt there, predicting the Heat Ran since uh, I went for the Hidden Bear Fire last time. Sack off my landers to rocks. It's turn 44 here. And right here, I'm going to forfeit the match. I could not break his core. And uh, no reason for us to play another 50 turns. Uh, and then him eventually win when we could go ahead and get on to rounds two and potentially three if I was to win round two. So good game to Silver in the first round. We'll be right back with round number two. Okay, so here we are for game two. And I bring a pretty sweet squad. Uh, Saw this on Poke Games Live, and this uh, Silver brings a very similar team to his last team he brought in game one. Uh, he was uh, knowledgeable of the ability to switch teams, but um, I guess he liked his first team a lot. I don't know if he changed anything about it, but uh, we'll get into that later. Um, I bring this uh, sweet team here with Landers and uh, Marowak as dual rock users, Expert Route Curium with a Scarf Serp and just a standard Feeny and Metagross. So we'll hop into the replay here. It's basically he brings the same team. I'm gonna lead Greninja here. And now the chat goes crazy over this play here. I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna set up my rocks predicting him to switch out. And the chat just went crazy about this. Um, I was offensive with Life Orb and Max Special Attack, so I don't know if that crit mattered. But I'm gonna take out his landers and get my rocks up within the first three turns. And then I still have a pretty solid answer to everything. Um, now, a lot of people saying I made bad plays in this uh, best of three series, but it uh, doesn't really like change anything because like I felt like they were okay plays. I've, I made a big boy play on turn one. Uh, we went 44 turns in game one without a kill. So I just decided to go ahead and make a play in this one so we could get a kill, you know? Um, here he goes for the earth power as he's taunted and I can just uh, click, keep clicking um, nature's madness because there's no reason not to. It's going to be doing nearly half to everything uh, every time and uh, I'm actually going to make a misplay here and go into my Marowak but in another sense it wasn't a misplay because uh, I didn't really need it. It didn't do anything for me this match and I can go into my Kyurem here and click the earth power as he goes into the tank growth, um, takes nothing, and I can click Ice Beam here as he goes into his Scizor. So nice series of plays to get his Scizor in, but here I can click the Hidden Power Fire as he goes into the Heat Ram. And then the chat's like crazy, that's not Hidden Power Fire, it can't be. But uh, Terra Volt anno uh, like ignores ability, so Flash Fire wasn't a thing. Um, here, I'm gonna switch out into my land here so just get this uh, Intimidate off. As he goes for the bullet punch, he gets a critical hit. Um, not that big of a deal as I go for the earth power. Um, he's going to be able to roost it off, but it is a roll here. So um, anytime I get to high roll, he will he will drop. And uh, he just finally goes for the bullet punch. There. I'm going to bring in my Kieran Black here. I'm going to click the hidden power fire, but uh, he's going to switch out to the Greninja. And here I do have a safe switch into my Feeny. But I'm going to stay in here, predicting him to double or U-turn. And I'm going to go for the Fusion Bolt. As he goes into his uh, Scizor, I'm just going to be able to click Hidden Power Fire. And uh, pretty feeling pretty comfortable at this point. Can go into my Feeny here. Sack it off. It is uh, two hit KO'd at this point anyway. But uh, he doesn't get the Battle Bond because I died of Burn. So that's really, really sweet on my part. Um, I'm going to go for the Glare here, predict him to switch out into his Mints, as he does. I'm going to hard switch into my Metagross as he goes for the Earthquake, so solid play. Um, and now he goes out into his Tangrowth, so another solid play here. I'm going to go for the Ice Punch though, so Tangrowth drops, and now uh, now he's forced to kill me with some you know move. He will get his Battle Bond, is basically what I'm saying. Um, but here he's going to 
Um, I can't knock him out with Dragon Pulse yet, so I am going to go for the Leaf Storm here. And But on the next turn he comes in, I can knock him out with the Dragon Pulse, and I am Scarfed. So I'm going to sack off my Metagross here. And he gets, they get tore up because of the uh, the pair there. So I go for the Hammer Arm here to show him that the pair didn't matter, as uh, I would bring in my Scarf Superior here. Click Dragon Pulse. Uh, don't get a boost, obviously, but when uh, Greninja comes in, it does not eat this um after rocks but at first it would have but uh not in this match so good game to silver again and we'll be right back for game three okay guys here we are in game three uh against silver once again obviously best of three so uh we'll go ahead and hop into the battle here i bring a team that gypsy king passed me so uh shout outs to him and we'll see how we can do this basically looks like the same team once again Except for this time, he has Mega Metagross over Mega Scizor and Garchomp over uh, Salamence. So let's just hop into the battle here. I'm going to lead off with Magirna predicting his Greninja lead. And uh, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch, I believe. No, I'll go for the Flash Cannon predicting his Landers to come in. And then I'm just going to Hard Switch out into Tapu Bulu here. And uh, he goes to the knockoff, doesn't knock me out. And I'm going to go straight off for the All Out Pummel in here predicting his uh, Metagross to come in. But he actually goes into his Heat Rant. And this thing's gonna sh gonna drop. So another play there. So uh, after the game one, I kind of realized that I needed to make plays to be able to beat this guy in the finals here. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. A lot of people are getting mad about that, but oh well. Um, we do live earthquakes there, but there's really like he goes for the mash again. I guess he knew that uh, earthquake would be a dumb play, and that he could just go for the uh, mash again. So I'm gonna set up my rocks here, as uh, he can't knock me out with the ice punch. And now he does though, finally, with the, takes Rocky Helmet damage though. But I noticed that Greninja gets a kill every time he comes in. So I'm just gonna click a uh, Hidden Power Fire here. Um, does almost half to Tangro. And now I can just click uh, Ice Beam. No, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I set up Spikes. Um, I do pack the Ice Beam though, so that's something to note for later in the match. Um, in case that was Scarf Garchomp, I wanted to go straight out to my Bulu. And so he's just going to keep uh, clicking Earthquake here as I'm going to start setting up Swords Dances. And now I can uh, now I can just click the Horn Leech, knock him out, and get a lot of my HP back and take the Rough Skin, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, now he has to bring in his Gross again. Doesn't really have another option. It uh, goes for the Mash. I didn't have a sack and don't really need this thing anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that thing go. And Greninja can come in, pick up another uh, kill. Can't exactly kill the Greninja though. So, But it does do a pretty good lot of damage. So I was pretty happy with that. I still have my Magirna so I can hard switch into it. Um, this goes for the Hydro Pump there. Miss didn't matter. Um, second miss still don't matter because uh, as you can see, resisted Flash Cannon does a hell of a lot. And you can see Pump would be a 3 kit KO. So if he landed the first one, I would have Volt Switched on the second one. So that's all you need to know about that. Um, but now I have a sack um, in my Magirna for the late game against anything. Can hammer arm here. And now he brings in his landers. And I can just sack off my Magirna. Or can go hard into my Grin predicting like a rock polish or a source dance or something like that um here i'm going to hard switch into my metagross as i can eat the earth uh, quake and make sure that nothing can set up on me now um as he could have maybe potentially set up on my magirna and uh just gonna click ice punch there and we're gonna win uh 2-1 in the best of three series against silver and pretty happy with my performance uh, again, shout out to Gypsy King for the sweet ass team. Uh, this Greninja set really puts into work. Protein's so broken, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the uh, for the tournament. Uh, the this is the winners bracket, and then uh, the losers bracket was uh, played out. And Triple A Battery won, uh, and ended up playing Silver in the finals, but Silver forfeited. So Triple uh, A is gonna win that the loser's bracket and we're going to take the winner's bracket and uh that's it's a good way to say hello to the sun and moon right 
anyways, uh, shout out to Meverse. Always been uh, kind. I got a lot of friends on there. Um, and it's really where I started competitive battling. So it's always nice to go back and revisit with some old people that I know and uh, get a tournament like this together. Um, obviously not official, but very friendly, very competitive, and had some good games. That being said, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.